Hello Guardians, it's Zadex Squared, and welcome to Clan Krug. So, I was going to post a completely different video today as the first video on the channel, but then Bungie went and dropped a weapons update post on us out of the blue yesterday. And while there's a lot to talk about in that post, from the likely return of Volatile and Retrofit Escapade to Anarchy getting buffed, the thing that I'm most curious about is the changes coming to Exotics. Specifically in this case, 1000 Voices, Sunshot, Polaris Lance, Two-Tailed Fox, and Prometheus Lens, all of which are either getting Scorch, or in the case of Prometheus Lens, it's getting the incandescent buff. It already applies Scorch on its own. In the post, Bungie noted that a full burst from 1k using Ember of Ashes will cause an ignition, which is the thing I'm most interested in, but all of the other weapons can also benefit from this, and general PvE mobbing builds will probably be a lot stronger on Solar now with these changes. So I wanted to take some time to not only talk about how this could impact 1k and the other weapons, but also some potential builds or combinations that would work well with these changes. Starting off, I just want to talk about the most basic stuff, the fragments and aspects that would work well with it on each class. Ember of Ashes will increase the number of Scorch stacks you apply on each of these weapons, uh, and on 1k, that's going to allow you to cause an ignition with a single burst. On top of that, Ember of Searing and Ember of Singeing both benefit from Scorch, Searing gives you melee energy when you defeat a Scorch target, and Singeing grants you class ability energy when you Scorch a target. That means that for, you know, 1k in particular, you know, either one's going to be good. Most 1k shots are going to kill a target, but in terms of DPSing or for some of the weapons like Sunshot or Polaris Lance that might do a little bit less damage, Singeing really sounds like it's going to be really strong, giving you lots of ability energy on top of, you know, everything else. It's going to let hunters dodge more often to be able to reload these weapons, especially things like Two-Tailed Fox and 1k are going to really benefit from hunters getting their dodge up just for, you know, not having to reload. On top of that, Titans are going to be able to drop more barricades for their protection in general mobbing or in damage phases, getting more rally barricades off to be able to help for reload speed and stability and the such. Warlocks will be able to drop more rifts, as is pretty obvious, just for healing, stuff like that, if your well runs out in a damage phase or, again, just in general gameplay. On the ignition front, we have four fragments that buff or proc off of ignitions, Char, Blistering, Eruption, and Wonder. Char makes your ignition spread Scorch to affected targets, which again pairs quite well with Sinjing. Blistering grants you grenade energy when you defeat a creature with an ignition. Eruption increases the size of your ignitions, helping you proc all of the other fragments. And then finally, Wonder generates an orb of power on ignition multi-kills, which is going to be really good for general mobbing to just drop more orbs of power, especially with some of the changes that seem to be coming with Lightfall. Of these, Eruption and Char seem like the better options for DPS, while Blistering and Wonder should be really good in general gameplay builds. On the Aspect front, Titans have two that work really well with 1k's changes. Soul Invictus will drop a sunspot when you defeat a Scorched target, which is quite easy to do with any of these new exotic changes. And Roaring Flames is an ability damage buff, which can be stacked by Ignition Final Blows. And again, that's going to be really easy, especially with something like a Sunshot or the Polaris Lance, to be able to, you know, stack up really quickly with Ignition and kill a lot of things, giving you Roaring Flames, which is a great ability. For Warlocks, you don't really have any as aspects that directly benefit from Scorch. However, Heat Rises or a Chris Dash can benefit rather heavily from the easy ability to kill large groups of enemies. Finally, on Hunters, Gunpowder Gamble is stacked by both Solar Weapon and Solar Debuff kills, which means that any of these weapons are going to very easily double dip into that and get you a good amount of progress on that. Moving on from class energy, here are some of the exotic armor pieces and mods that should work really well with the changes. Keep in mind that all mods are potentially being changed or removed, and we may see new mods in Lightfall that complement new builds even more than the current existing ones. With that in mind, I'm looking at things like Loralee Splendor. While nerfed from when it was incredibly strong, you know, it would still pretty heavily benefit from Singeing, letting you drop more sunspots and keep you alive for a little bit longer, especially with the recent barricade nerf. On the same thread, Kepri's Horn will also work really well with Sinjing, and also just generally works really well with solar weapon kills, which will again let you spam more barricades, sending out all these solar blasts. Unfortunately, Kepri's isn't incredibly strong, but some of these changes could make it a little bit more viable as you can spam more and more barricades. Phoenix Cradle gives all your allies the benefit of your sunspots, which with the aforementioned Soul Invictus could actually be a rather strong combo to provide healing all over the battlefield for your team. 
scorching a target with something like a sunshot could then you know grant you a lot of kills which would drop a lot of soul invictus sunspots all over the ground meaning that any of your teammates running around in general gameplay could just accidentally run into one and get healing and the ones who know that you're running this build would be able to aim for these sunspots and would it's not going to be invincibility but it's going to be a lot of health regen that they wouldn't otherwise get finally on titan path of burning steps can buff your weapon damage on solar kills this will most likely be the best titan exotic for doing boss damage with something like a 1k or two-tailed fox but even then it isn't the strongest since the buff doesn't last all that long Unfortunately, for Hunters, there aren't really any viable exotics to combo with Scorcher Ignitions at this time. There's a couple that, you know, would work with Solar, or would work with these weapons, you know, buffing them in slight ways, stuff like Lucky Pants working with Sunshot, but none of them specific to the Scorch or to the Ignitions that would work a lot better because of these changes. For Warlocks, there's actually a couple really good options. Starting off strong, you've got Dawn Chorus, which will make all your Scorch effects deal more damage, and it'll also grant you additional melee energy when your Scorch damages a target. This will let you, in damage phases, do a little bit more damage and get your melee back if you have some sort of melee spam build in DPS, but also in general gameplay, having your melee up is quite good. Mantle of Battle Harmony grants super energy when you kill targets with weapons matching your subclass energy type. And while this is not a unique synergy, it is still very helpful with all of these solar explosions going off to make sure that you're killing more things and getting more benefit out of the Mantle of Battle Harmony. Finally, Reign of Fire pairs incredibly well with 1k voices, as it buffs all linears and fusions, of which 1k is one. And it works best with Solar Warlock, as the benefits to airborne effectiveness, jump, and mobility from both are helpful to make you a dangerous aerial combatant. Just to briefly go over some mods, as long as they remain relatively untouched, the Solar Well of Life mods, especially Explosive Wellmaker, will pair quite well with the ignition explosions granted from these exotic changes. A build I would, you know, be looking at would be something like using Explosive Wellmaker to get the grenade energy from Well of Ordinance in order to spam grenades, which in turn could then be paired with Energy Converter to get super energy. However, the odds that all of these come back untouched are quite low, as we already know that Wells and Charge with Light, of which all three of these mods use, are being combined in armor charges, and we don't quite know exactly how that's going to work with some of the existing mods yet. However, looking past that, there's definitely going to be quite a few new mods that we're going to have to be looking out for, that when Lightfall drops, I'm definitely going to take another look to see what could pair well with some of these changes in order to make some even stronger builds than the stuff that I've just gone over briefly here. Anyways, guys, that's been the solar exotic changes coming in Lightfall, and I can't wait to be able to test some of these out and see how strong some of them can be. In case any of you have any ideas of builds that I might have missed, exotics or mods or even some fragments or aspects that you think would pair well that I didn't touch on, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'm definitely interested to see what some of you guys are thinking. Anyways, until next time, signing off. See you, Guardians.